Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zarekhan and I am back once again. Elden Ring, huh? What happened? Seriously, what happened? How did it come to this? I mean, the game was getting glowing accolades. I mean, look at it, all these 10s, all these 5 stars, a 97 on Metacritic and a 96 on OpenCritic. How did the game get all of these awards and praise and it turned out like this? This is Cyberpunk 2077 all over again, where the game is getting praised, and yet it's 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 horrible. I, I mean, it's the performance is bad. I don't think it's as bad as Cyberpunk. We're not getting all these bugs and glitches, but getting these, the performance is just not there. The performance is not where it should be. All the stuttering and the issues for the frame drops. And I'm not talking about from my own personal experience because I I, I really can't judge the game uh, personally. I knew what I was getting myself into. I don't even meet the required specs for the game. So I'm not too surprised seeing that I'm only getting like on average 25 FPS, which was enough to make me just say, I'm not playing this game until I actually build my PC <laughs> instead of using this laptop. But I, I, I at least knew what I was getting myself into. But for the people who can play the game and should be getting the game at good quality running at great performance or at least adequate performance levels what's up with them there's no reason why this should be happening to them there's no reason we should be getting or they should be getting i should say stuttering issues frame rate drops it, it it's unacceptable and i think this again goes to show that you can't rely on game reviewers and critics you can't rely on them to give you an honest review seriously look at steam 60% of people actually like the game and recommend it. That's who you should be listening to. For every game that gets released, you can't, you, well, most times you should not listen to them. You should listen to the people who actually bought the game, had to pay to get the game. Not people should, who get free copies of the game, but people who bought the game, spent their own money on it. They're the ones who I believe are more credible than people who, than people who just get, handed a free copy to review it but to from software what happened why did you release the game like this like i am i i i understand that some people have had gripes like when you made the first uh dark souls pc port i understand that was a mess and you know you <laughs> you messed it up you fixed it with the prepare to die edition I know that some people may not like some of the other ports, but they are playable ports. Like, I en enjoy the other ones. I enjoy Dark Souls Remastered. I've enjoyed Dark Souls Scholar of, the, uh, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. I enjoyed Dark Souls 3. And what little bit I've played, I've Sekiro seems to be pretty good. Again, the performance isn't necessarily that great because my laptop isn't that great, but it's still adequate enough. I'm able to, at least for Dark Souls 1 through 3, I'm able to get... 60 FPS and 1080p on the games. And so the games are running well and they're running as you know you would expect. Where is that level of quality? I'm not talking about for me because again, my PC sucks, but for everyone else who should be able to run this game adequately, what's up with them? And to make matters worse, why does it take the last gen version to get a somewhat decent experience on the next gen consoles? There is no reason why the PS5 and Xbox Series X cannot run this game at 60 FPS. This is unacceptable. Sure, you could say that for the PS4 and Xbox One. I can understand that. They're not going to be as powerful. But the next-gen consoles can definitely run it. This entire situation just irks me because this is the game that I've actually been looking forward to. This is one of the few games that I look forward to. And the few games, especially with FromSoftware, because I... Just, I believed in them. I thought, you know what? In a time where pretty much every developer and company was was just screwing up and stuff, I had faith in them that, you know what? They can deliver a nice, solid game, and I can enjoy it. But look, look what happened. I'm not mad, but I'm just very disappointed in From Software. I believe there is a good game here. I believe that this has potential to be a very solid game, but it needed a couple more months. The game was already delayed into January and then pushed back to February, so what would a few more months do? 
it's clear that this was definitely needed. I really hope they get this strained out because this is not going to be forgotten anytime soon. Let me know your thoughts though. How is Elden Ring running for you? What system are you playing it on? Are you enjoying it or are you regretting your purchase? Let me know. So until next time everyone, I am Zerikon signing off. Have a good one.